two ways to escape. If I've always found that logic flawed, don't stay. Hello, I'm Brenna and welcome to the video. This is my video on safety tips for solo female van lifers in Australia. So I've been living and traveling in my van for two years now and these are just the things that I do to make sure that I stay safe. This is just my opinion, my recommendations. It's definitely not everything and it's not for everybody. All right, let's get started. So my first tip on safety for solo female van lifers has four parts, A, B, C, and D. And this is all to do with where you choose to camp. Tip one, A, when you go to a camp spot, look for signs of partying. That's the first thing I do. Do I see lots of bottles lying around? Lots of maybe fires have been lit. Is there signs that maybe the locals are coming there on the weekends or on the evenings and they're really partying and having a good time? That for me is a red flag. I just don't trust people around alcohol and there may be drugs as well. So I won't stay in a spot where it looks like if people are really partying and drinking a lot. So tip one, part two, is before you choose a campsite, read the reviews on wiki camps. So I always do that, or even if you've got to a spot and you're not sure, read the reviews. So there is one spot where I was actually going to go to film this video, and the reviews were so bad, I didn't even feel safe to go there during the day to film it, let alone stay there at night. And I'll put some of those reviews up here for you on the screen. But basically, it's a lot of locals going down, lots of partying, some strange behavior, people trying to get people to go into cars with them. And I have actually been to this camp spot before to check it out, and there was a couple camping there. And they did say to me, the locals come down all the time. And that for me, again, is a red flag. I don't want to camp where people are coming and going a lot and they know that I'm there on my own. I don't feel safe with that. I prefer the less people that know where I am, the better. Okay, part three, tip one, part three, is when you do camp somewhere, I try as much as possible to make it so that I can either go backwards or forwards. So that if somebody does come and they park a car in front of me, I can always go backwards or vice versa. So I always try and make sure I kind of have two, two ways to escape if I need to. If somebody comes and I don't feel safe and I want to leave, I make sure they can't block me in. So part four of tip one of safety for solo female van lifers is when you're camping at a rest stop or if you need to pull over at a rest stop, try and make sure that you can hide behind the bushes. I always make sure that I'm not visible from the road. And you do need to camp at rest stops, even just driving across the Nullarbor. Sometimes you're driving somewhere I haven't, I thought there was a campsite that was suitable, it's not. I will then go to a rest stop. And again, make sure that you can't be seen. There's lots of bushes and I, yeah, make sure no one can see you from the road. Okay, tip two on my safety tips for solo female van lifers is be aware of what day of the week it is. It's more likely that there will be partying and alcohol and drugs on a Friday and a Saturday night or public holidays. So I do pay a lot of attention to the day of the week and there are certain places that I feel safe to be during the week, but I will not go near on the weekend. I found that really helpful and I know there's places I can go where they're not popular on the weekends and I'll, have, I'll be safe and I'll have the place to myself. Okay, tip number three on my safety tips for solo female van lifers is if you do go somewhere to camp and there are other people camping there, check them out. Go and meet them and really get a feel for if they're safe. So I know a lot of people say they won't camp somewhere unless there's somebody else there. You don't know that that other person is safe. I've always found that logic flawed because how do you know that they're not unsafe how do you know that they're not going to do something so i always try and go out and meet the other campers get a feel for them if i don't feel good about them i will move on i'm not going to risk it okay tip number four on my safety tips for solo female van lifers is make sure so i live in a van not a not a 
caravan or anything. I live in a high ace, Toyota high ace van. And I always make sure that I have a clear path from the back of the van through to the front seat. So that in emergency, I can climb through and I can hop in and I can drive off. So for that case, I always leave the front seat clear. Um, so I might occasionally have my solar panels there, but they can easily be lifted out. But I don't put a lot of stuff in the front seat and I make sure I have clear access through. I know where my keys are kept on a hook and I have once crawled through and sat in the van and um, luckily the people moved on, but I still left after that, I didn't feel safe. Tip number five of my safety tips for solo female van lifers is always check your phone to make sure where you have phone service or Wi-Fi. So if you're going kind of remote, I'll always check, take note of where was the last place I had phone service or Wi-Fi. And this happened to me when I broke down north of Gamaling and my actual camp spot didn't have phone but when I was out walking the dog I was aware there was a spot that was phone so when I need I broke down and I needed to call the RAC I climbed up the hill I knew there was phone reception there and I could phone them so really pay attention to where you have service and where you don't I'll be honest these days I prefer to camp where I have one or the other or both I don't really feel that safe going totally off grid offline anymore Okay, tip number six for my safety tips for solo female van lifers is make sure you cover all your windows at night. So I want to make sure that nobody can see in and I'll do this as soon as it starts to get dark and I'll cover all the windows, even on the uh, draw on the front windscreen. I even put a towel over the bit where the mirror goes so people can't see in. So make sure you cover all the windows. Don't advertise that you're in there on your own, especially at night. Which brings us to tip number seven for my safety tips for solo female van lifers, which is much, much along the lines of the last tip, is I stay inside my van once it's dark. I don't like campfires. I don't sit around a campfire. I might, it might join other campers for a campfire, but if I'm on my own, I do not stay outside my van when it's dark. I get in my van and I lock all the doors and I just stay in there. So yeah, I just feel much safer doing that. And yeah, again, that's my tip, my recommendation. That's what I would do. Okay, tip number eight. I okay, hope that finger doesn't want to work. Tip number eight on my safety tips for solo female van lifers is go with your gut feeling. If you pull up somewhere and it doesn't feel quite right to you, don't stay. I can remember one incident quite early on and you know I found this camp spot it seemed reasonable I pulled up there was some bottles and stuff lying around so I was a bit bit suspicious about it it was dinner time and I was hungry so which is funny if you know me when I'm hungry I need to eat anyway so um I made dinner and after I made dinner I hadn't eaten yet I was like, no, I really don't feel good about this place. And I put the lid on the pot and I drove off and I found somewhere else. So go with your gut feeling. If a place doesn't feel right, if somebody doesn't feel right, trust your instincts and don't stay there. All right, that's all my safety tips for solo female van lifers. There's just one more point I want to add. Yes, I do have a dog. And yes, the dog is a very good warning system. She will bark if someone comes near the van or she hears a noise, and I'll usually always check it out. But I do not rely on the dog for safety. I try and make really good decisions myself so that I'm safe. Um, yeah, and just because you have a dog doesn't mean that you're safe. So that's just what I want to say. All right, there are all my tips for safety tips for solo female van lifers. I hope you enjoyed these. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions or any comments, just leave them below. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye.